Hi, welcome to Counselor's Corner. My name is Craig Hawkins, and I'm counselor at Midland High School, and this is Lori Halberg, counselor at Dow High. We're here today to talk about the different things that are going on for the month of October. Uh, one of the first things that happens for students in October is there's some testing that happens. Uh, one of the first is the ninth grade MEEP. All ninth graders in both high schools will be taking this test on the same day. Uh, it's a way for us to kind of gauge how well we're doing in the social studies area. What do students know? What do we need to improve upon? So it's, it's a nice uh, assessment for us to see exactly where kids are. So all the ninth graders will get that done. Another one is the PSAT test. And I know we spoke about that last month, but actually the PSAT is given in the middle of, of October. I believe it's October 16th. And registration for that is done in the high schools. Students will pay a $15 fee and they'll go to the individual high schools and register and pay that fee. Uh, and then that will allow them to be able to take that test. It's during the day, again, October 16th. It is for juniors who are interested in taking a practice SAT test. Now that test is also used as one of the national merit qualifiers. So if a student thinks that they are really at the top of their class and they want to try for this scholarship, uh, they would need to take the PSAT. And again, that's for qualifying for the national merit. Uh, so there are some important dates coming up that we want to make sure everybody is aware of. And if you have a senior, you know that your senior is most likely busy filling out college applications. So just a reminder that applications are typically due by Halloween and that if you haven't had a chance to visit the school, it's a good thing to, to set up a tour. If you go to individual school websites, you can see when they have preset tours already arranged. But if those dates don't work for you, just call their office and see if you can arrange for your own tour. It just gives you and you and your student a feel for what that college really is like. Is it too big? Is it too small? Or maybe it's just right for your student. Then also, the end of the marking period is going to be coming up soon, November 1st. So just make sure you stay on top of homework, projects, tests, uh, all of that. Um, it comes pretty fast. If you have any questions, you can always email teachers or counselors. All the emails are found on the directory on the MPS website. Particularly with the, with the nine-week marking periods at the high school, we've had those now for a couple of years, but sometimes that can get away from a student. Um, if they're struggling in a class, uh, the ninth grade marking period, uh, or I'm sorry, the ninth nine-week marking period is, is a long time in that semester. You're halfway through and you need to keep track, students need to keep track of how well they're doing. Remember parents, you can keep track of it on home access to see whether your students are turning in materials, what their grade is at a certain point, teachers keep that updated. So we really want parents and students to keep track of how they're doing as that ninth week marking period comes to a close. All right, well this is October's edition of Counselor's Corner. Make sure to join us again next month.